Hey guys, it's Ted with OA X Ray, and today we're going to be talking about a new supported site, Lowe's.com. Best thing that I like about Lowe's is some of their brands no one else will carry, so you're not going to see some of these items at any other store. And Amazon often will not come in on the listings because Lowe's is the only one that sells it. So let's do a quick glance over to Ray's and see if we can get some discounted gift cards for our trip today. Looks like we can get about 4% off on Ray's.com. And then if I go over to Ebates to get my cash back, looks like we can get about 1.5% off at Ebates.com. Now I go back to the Lowe's page, and I like to shop for tools, so I'm just going to go over to Tools. Um, there are all kinds of tools here, um, a lot of different things. I generally like to do the power tools and power tool accessories, and I also like to do the hand tools. But so I'm going to go to tool sets this time and see what we come up with. Now I can just click on the OAX Ray extension and see what happens. Now, just to let you know, I have an application called Force Background Tab. What it does is it forces everything to pop up in the background. And for me, I like it. It saves me time. So I'm going to go over to the OAX Ray button now. And I'm just going to check out the first thing I see. Um, here I'm going to add a discount of five and a half percent because I'm going to use a gift card and also what, gift card and raise okay so put in my five and a half percent there and the first thing I see is this cobalt 19 piece metric and they look like they match I hover over here to look at the picture images looked exact so click on the two links here Lowe's and click on the Amazon link look like this might be a newer item or at least Keepa has not been um, tracking it for very long prices come down slightly okay now I'll go over to my Amazon listing look at the picture quickly and I want to make sure that they match so now that I see that they match I see that this item was 120 bucks now it's down to 49 so it might be a good time to purchase this so this item is in the miscellaneous category. Um, sometimes you'll notice items that are in that category. They will not have sales rank. Sometimes they do. Sometimes they don't. This one they do not. So my strategy would be to look at the reviews and see if there are a lot of reviews. Generally, in my experience, for every one review, there's probably been 100 sales or 50 sales or so. But sometimes items just don't get reviews. So in this case, there are no reviews, so it's really hard to tell is this item selling. So when I look over here, I see that there's um, a bunch five sellers and a one or two are prime, and they're at 19, 119.99. So if I were selling mine prime, I'd probably price there, or I might price to get the buy box. But I'm not sure how much I'd be competing with the um, other people. They look like they might be drop shippers. Really hard to tell, but. Um, as I scroll down, um, I'm going to look for my item weight and my item dimensions. The item weight looks like it's under 10 pounds, and the product dimensions look like it, they would be not oversized. So this is very important. But with the item weight at about 10 pounds, we have to think that we can probably only fit five of these in a box so that we stay under the 50-pound um, weight limit of Amazon. So these are just things you want to think about. Um, the date first available on this was January 6th, so even though there are no reviews, this item could be selling. Um, so we got to take that in consideration because it's only been on here for a few days. Looks like someone just created the listing. Um, there's no other information we need to gather at the on the page, so we're going to copy here and we're going to stick it in the Amazon FBA calculator. So I always want to pull up my Amazon revenue calculator paste in the ASIN and I want to check with the Amazon fees because some of the times when they actually measure in the fulfillment center they'll change these dimensions so some of the times I've seen it where they have not matched so we want to make sure we always double check here and I'm going to let's say I sell this for $119.99 and I don't want to be a um, uh, the other guys look like the drop shippers so that's why I'm saying I probably would not um, compete with them now my inbound shipping is going to be a little higher. This item is 10 pounds. So whenever I put this in my package, it's going to be a little bit higher. So we're going to say it costs two bucks to stick it in there. Now under the prep service fee, if I have a prep service, I can put in my actual cost here. One trick that I like to use is actually putting in my cost to purchase the item. 
Now, um, $49.99 is a price. I'm going to get about 5% 5, 5 back. Um, but I don't know if I have a tax free there. So let's just say they cancel each other out. So I'm going to put in $49.99 is what I'm paying for it. You can put in whatever um, cost, depending on if you have your tax free, um, depending on if you're getting discounted gift cards and just things like that. We're going to calculate and we're going to get an estimate of what we're going to make. So if we sell this for $119.99, it looks like we're going to make about 42 bucks on the item and we're paying um, $50 for it. So not quite doubling our money, but let's just pretend we might have to compete with those guys to grab the buy box a little more. So we might need to drop it to 109 and we just want to kind of make sure we always account for worst case scenario and um, account for those numbers. So here, whenever we drop our price to $109.99, just in case we need to, um, looks like our profit drops to about 34%, or I mean, sorry, about $34 on this item. One final thing we might want to do is um, see if there are any other duplicate listings. So let me go back and do that now that we know what our profit is going to be. Um, let's go here. Oh, come on. And it looks like whenever we do a quick word search, this is the only listing, and this is the same one. Brand new listing. Um, so looks like we've done our due diligence. We checked for multiple listings. We've made sure this is the um, correct listing and everything matches. Looks like at this point we can either pull the trigger or we can save this item in our, let's see if we go back to it. One thing sometimes if you don't want to make the decision right now, I can just save it to my buy list and come back to this item and make this decision later. So for this item, since it has no feedback, I might save this item from a buy list. Wait two weeks, come back, look at my buy list and see if there's any feedback. If we notice that the feedback is increasing, then we know that there are sales. So this is one little trick that I like to use. So thank you very much for watching the video and go out there and make some money.